Hi, and welcome to our 105th test and measurement video. This time, we'll look at a new Fluke product, a non-contact DVM that measures volts and amps in a single readout. This meter, the T6-1000 electrical tester, is orders of magnitude safer and more efficient than any I have seen. The Fluke T6-1000, according to manufacturer's specifications, is rated to measure 1000 volts AC or DC and 200 amps in the current mode. It is okay for 1000 volts in a CAT3 location and 600 volts in CAT4 where there is greater available current. This means that it is suitable for three-phase 480 volt work including the 678 volt DC bus that we see in variable frequency drives for high horsepower motors. The open fork design means that it will accommodate a 4 aught conductor as used in a 200 amp electrical service. The Fluke T6-1000 electrical tester resembles a clamp-on ammeter but actually it operates quite differently. The clamp-on ammeter performs current readings by detecting a magnetic field surrounding a conductor through which the current is flowing. Of necessity, the jaws close around the conductor so that current can flow through the instrument's secondary coil. The T6-1000, in contrast, capacitively senses the electrical field surrounding an energized wire even though there is no load and no current flowing. Neither meter can read anything in a cable such as Romex or flexible cord that contains a hot wire and neutral return conductor or two or more opposing phase wires because the current and or voltage and consequently magnetic or electrostatic fields cancel out and you get a zero reading. It is a simple task to make a splitter. Just slit and remove a few inches of outer jacket and separate the white and black or phase wires. This works for both the clamp-on ammeter and the Fluke T6-1000. Often you want to determine how much current a cord and plug connected motor or appliances drawing, and this field-made splitter makes that possible. The Fluke non-contact electrical tester also operates as a conventional multimeter. Here are the leads. Just touch them to whatever you want to measure and use it like a regular multimeter. The resistance mode has an audible continuity indicator. For non-contact voltage, current, and frequency measurements, the black lead has to be clipped firmly in place. To take a reading, the wire has to be set against the bottom center of the jaws. Then, while taking a reading, place your finger against the spot indicated on the back to capacitively provide the ground potential so that the meter can sense the electrostatic field. An amazing thing about this meter is that the readout will become green when it is ready to measure. As you can see, I have a single wire energized from a 120 volt branch circuit. As you can see, the readout has turned green and it's right now reading 99 volts, which is about right considering all the wires it's going through. Using the splitter to measure the voltage from the source and current drawn by this small electric heater,
Right now it's drawing 105 volts and it's measuring 9.8 amps. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.